Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with Trail and Mountain, and today I'm testing and reviewing something new. Um, well, it's not new on the market per se, but it's it's new for me. I'm doing a little car camping uh, this weekend, and I'm up at Figueroa Mountain up here on the Central Coast, and I've reviewed for this company before, but never this product. And so as a backpacker, you never want to bring a pillow into the backcountry, um, like, a, like a pillow from home, you know, because it's just too big and it's too heavy. Tons of companies are making backpacking pillows right now. I reviewed quite a few of them, but I've never reviewed a pillow from Sea to Summit. And here's Sea to Summit's website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. These guys are making very, very high-end backpacking gear, and they've been doing so for a very long time. Without further ado, this is the Eros pillow. This is 2.5 ounces of comfort right here. So I'm going to get this thing un out of the stuff sack here. I don't want to say unbox because it's not a box. I don't want to say unpackaged because there's no packaging, but... I'm gonna get this thing out. What makes this thing super cool is that it also has a layer of down on the top. Okay, so let's see what it comes with. See to Summit Sleep Systems. Improve sleep, increase performance. And it just kinda, it's a little brochure. It tells you sleeping bags and what they offer, sleeping pads and yada, yada, yada. So that's pretty cool, but you know, I could find all that stuff on the website, so I don't really need that. This is the actual pillow itself. So it's got down on the top here. Now I'm going to inflate it. It has a little valve on the back. Okay, so I'm going to inflate it. It's a two-part valve, looks like. Yeah. So, so the way the valve works is you have your little tiny valve right here, and then you have your big valve. This is for deflating. So keep that one in there unless you're deflating it. And then once that's like that, you just kind of pop this thing back in and lock it in place just like so. And here's your pillow right here. Now, I'm not really big on inflatables, just because, you know, you kind of get this, like, waterbed kind of feeling, right? Um, especially when they're inflated really, really, you know, full, like this one is. But, I mean, look how thick that is. That's that's a pretty substantial pillow. And I love all the, the layer of down on the top here. This is, like, sleeping bag material. Now, it also has a pillow lock system right here on the bottom. Right there, pillow lock system. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna lock onto the sleeping pad. Now Cedar Summit has their pillow lock system on their sleeping pad, so they integrate. So that's super cool, and I'll show you that in a minute. Yeah. And just take your pillow off when you want it. Put it back on. Not going nowhere. Easy. And these little Velcro guys didn't add very much weight at all. So on the top of the pillow here, this is where you put your head. This is a 10 denier with a responsibly sourced duck down. And, I mean, this thing is literally feather light. It's 2.5 ounces, probably with the stuff sack. But when you're ready, like if, say you have like too much air in it, it does have a micro adjust valve in here, right there, so. So you can let a little air out, make it a little bit more manageable. That's usually what I like to do, because you know, if I'm gonna sleep on it, I want it to be I want it to be comfy for me. It doesn't necessarily have to be comfy for anybody else. So not only does the duck down provide a lot of warmth on the top side of the pillow, but on the inside it has a TPU bladder, so it's like built to last. This thing, TPU is really, really tough material, and this thing is gonna take a, you know, take a beating over many years of use. I'm sure this thing will last for a while. So the measurements on this pillow is 13.4 inches long, 9.4 inches wide, and 4.7 inches thick. I mean, that's a, that's a beefy one right there. That's a, that's a cheeseburger right there. You know, I just want to take a bite out of it. But this is what I'll be sleeping on tonight. And um, I'll let you know how it works out in the morning. All right, guys. So that's my review of the Eros Down Pillow from Sea to Summit. Once again, here's their website right here. Check out Sea to Summit. They make some cool stuff. Definitely worth a look at. So this thing is pretty awesome. This may very well be my new backpacking pillow. And um, I really like it. And so it's kind of cool the way... You can see where the top of it is over here, 
and then you can see how the down kind of comes around here so it's going to insulate your neck as well which I really like. So this, as I said, this very well may be my new backpacking pillow. Uh, the only thing I can think of is that I probably would need to bring the Sea to Summit sleeping pad to integrate with this but that's not a huge deal for me or a deal breaker. I could use another pad. It's not a big deal. So when you're ready to deflate it, you pull the big valve off the back here. Get this little guy, and you pull this little guy, and it's just done. And it deflates. You usually fold these in like a Z kind of a pattern. You know? Kind of like, like that. And then I usually just get the little stuff sack, and I just start stuffing it in there. Once it's all in there, you kind of just pull the little drawstring closed. And there you go. Easy, flipping peasy. It also has a little hook right here, a little loop. You can just use a carabiner, strap it to the outside of your pack if you really want to. Or you can just hang it like that. Pretty awesome. Eros down pillow. They also make this in three different sizes too, so keep that in mind. If you guys have any questions or comments about this, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you leave those down in my comment section down below, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, please share, and please subscribe. It really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing, so thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, tech and camera reviews, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors. We'll see you in the next video. Boom.